Everybody stand up. I know you're kind of uh, sleepy right now. We're going to jump five times and we're going to clap five times. I know you guys are eating, but we're going to do this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to think about yourself and you're going to be grateful for all you have because there's a lot of people, billions of people that want to be in your shoes. Okay, you guys can take a seat now. So today, we're going to be talking about the million dollar blueprint. Who doesn't want to be a millionaire? Everybody, right? It all starts with people. Today, we're going to be talking about people problems. Who here is a business owner? Raise your hand. It's not easy starting a business. Because when you start a business, now you're dealing with people, you gotta start hiring, firing, how to fire correctly, how to hire, how to find, attract, and retain top talent. You have to deal, deal with uh, lawsuits. So I know for me, throughout my career, I've been dealing with people. Who here is a solopreneur? Raise your hand. That's the person that is running their business by themselves. So now you're feeling overwhelmed, scattered, you're wearing multiple hats, you're running accounts receivable, accounts payable, the marketing team, sales. And if you don't hire the right people, you're gonna get burned out. Which means who here has more than five employees? Awesome, so now you're not only responsible of yourself, but you're responsible of your team. So you gotta keep your team motivated, engaged. Who here has more than 10 employees? So now you're starting to develop leaders, managers, systems, processes. Let's see who has the most employees. 15? 20? I see the hands up over here. 25? 40? 50? 4,500. 4,500. Woo! You know what? Hey, can you please stand up and tell everybody what you do? Come on. We will later, we will. Okay. I'm that, so we're good. You know what? <laughs> Give them a grand of applause. <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy running a business of 4,500 employees. In order to scale that big, you need to have systems and processes. I know for me, just in one of the companies, we have over 60 employees. And it took me a lot of learning curves, failing, learning all these things, systems and processes. And by learning all these things with the million dollar blueprint, I was able to scale just on the painting business. I have a fleet of vans. We run a painting business here in the, the alley area, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. We have over 60 employees. We took that company from zero to over $8 million in revenue in less than five years. This is some of the team members. We gave a $65,000 project for charity last year. Painting for a reason. I'm also the Limitless CEO host, where we have over 50,000 subscribers in less than six months. I also expanded with my wife. We sell fajas, corsets, and Colombian shapewear. We have seven physical stores online where we sell fajas. Who wants to get a six pack? <laughs> We're a faja. That's how you do it. Some of the reasons you guys stuck is because you don't have systems, processes, personal, professional, financial goals, your mission statement, your quadrant, KPIs, SOPs. I wrote a book, The Million Dollar Blueprint, an ebook and a workbook. And I'm going to be giving that, this out to you. And I know that's a lot of information. Today, we're only going to be speaking about three things. We're gonna be speaking about mission, core values, the PPFs, and the quadrant and the trainings. I'm gonna tell you how I did it. So I remember about a year ago, I was struggling with accounts receivable, they were not collecting. 
accounts payable was overpaying. My sales team was not selling. The fuel supervisor was not checking in on the projects. The fuel workers were going over on material, hours. And I was at the gym, I'm a gym person. In order for you to help other people, it starts within. I was hitting 225s, 250s, 275s, 315s, cranking it. I was mad. I was thinking how to get my people aligned. When I got off the restroom, I jumped into my truck. I was hitting 100 miles per hour, fast. I parked on red, and I went straight into my office. I started asking my people, what is the mission statement? They didn't know it. What is the mission statement? What are the company core values? What are the company core values? No idea. So I told everyone, if you guys don't get your shit together by tomorrow, I'm gonna start firing. Everything was quiet like right now, quiet. They were looking to each other and they nodded, yes, we understand. The following day, I came into the office and I opened the door and I saw all these papers on the wall, on their foreheads, everywhere. I grabbed one of the papers and it was the mission statement, the company core values. So the moral of the story is that you need to have a mission statement. The mission statement is important. So how do you do your mission statement? You need to have the what, the why, and the how you're doing it. You gotta keep it short in two sentences. And the company core values for us is results, excellence, accountability, leadership, and teamwork. Why do we go based on results? Because we want people actually delivering results. We don't want people just sitting down, taking a seat, draining resources. Excellence. We want excellent people, the best of the best, nothing less. Accountability. We want people accountable. We don't want people pointing fingers here and there. It was not me. Leadership. We want leaders, people that are leading people. And the way you know you have a good leader is that you have an executive and he's training one of your people. If the, if the trainee doesn't change in a couple months, then he's not a good leader. Teamwork. Teamwork makes dream work, not the other way around. People move businesses, right? Um, the PPFs, this is super important. This is how you know what motivates your people, what is the driver. The way I did this, I remember I was driving down on Sunset. I was driving down on Sunset and La Cienega, for those who know the area. There was this big ass billboard. It was Kim Kardashian. Competition. They were advertising the Fajas. I'm like, damn it. On top of everything I have, <laughs> now I have competition. I'm like, how can I get my people aligned? How can I find the driver? Ha ha, the PPFs, the Personal Professional Financial Goals. I grabbed my phone, I saw the schedule, and I called the nearest crew leader. It was Marcos, it was about 10 minutes away. And I told him to meet me at the Starbucks. So we went over the personal, professional, and financial goals. I spent about a couple hours there. It was him, and it was Daniel. And after going the one, the three, and the five years, I noticed that what motivates Marcos it's different than Daniel. Marcos wanted to buy a house in Honduras, two stories, a pool, a deck. He wanted to make $150,000. And he wanted to get promoted. Daniel, he just recently got engaged. He didn't want to work on the weekends. He wanted to take off. He was a 40-hour guy. So by you guys doing the PPFs, you guys are, under, are, are gonna understand the, the drivers of your people and, and this way, the company can grow faster. How do you do the personal, professional, financial goals? So you guys want to do this off-site, not, not, not on the job site. A Starbucks, restaurant. You want to take a sheet of paper and talk to your team. Like, be a one-on-one. -on -one. Don't be interesting. Be interested. Write down everything so you can understand your people and uh, write priorities and action steps. 
So this way, it's not only the big picture, but you're creating action steps, you're creating that momentum, because little steps create momentum. Once you get the momentum going, then you're going. You might be thinking, how, how do I focus on the personal, professional, financial goals? Who should I talk to? He has 4,500 employees. He's not gonna speak to all 4,500 employees, it's too many. You gotta based on the 2080 rule. Who knows what's the 2080 rule? So it's the 20 that drives the 80%. How do you find those? With the quadrant. This is how you find who's the high producers. So I was in the, in the conference room and I got my phone and I called the supervisor, the office manager, the sales manager, and I told them we were hosting a meeting. I told them we were going over the quadrant. So I was explaining to them what was the thinker. A thinker is someone that is thinking, is analyzing, is bringing ideas to the table, innovating. What is a doer? Is someone doing, is someone active? Someone that is taking massive action, high performers? What is a watcher? A watcher is someone watching other people, steal resources, they're late, and they don't say anything, they're, they're quiet. So a watcher is like a, like a floater in the middle of the ocean that eventually is gonna become a drainer. What do you guys think we do with the drainers? We let them go. These people are the people that are, they're in the company, but they don't quit. They're draining resources. They're stealing company material. They're being late. They're probably under the influence, but they're still there. So at the end of the meeting, I told my people to list the companies, the, the, uh, the employees on the company, and we found two watchers and seven drainers. The watchers we spoke to right away, and the drainers, we let them loose. And you guys might be thinking, I don't want to fire my people. A lot of times we make decisions with emotion. And in business, that doesn't work. You need to be logical. So the following morning, I called them in, and we let them go. You keep it simple. Simple works, complicated never works. So I called them in, and I told them it's not working out, we're going a different direction. That's it. So by doing all these things, the million dollar blueprint, implementing the, the, three, the three things we spoke about, I was able to start all these companies. I'm creating memories. For me, it's not about the money. For me, it's about being grateful and spending time with my wife, with my kid, my son, he's my son, Jonathan Jr., and then my daughters. I was able to purchase my, my daughter, she's 15, a car. So I mean, it's not the most important thing, but it helps to create memories. All right, Q&A, preguntas. This is my, my uh, the QR code, so you guys can follow me. You guys want to follow me? Yeah, you guys follow him um, on social. Jonathan, is that, what, what's your Instagram? Uh, Jonathan Rodriguez, CEO. Jonathan Rodriguez, CEO, and we're going to open up for questions. Pam, go ahead. Good question. First of all, congrats. Like, I've seen the growth, <laughs> and you're doing amazing. I'm so proud of you. Um, how is it working with your wife? We, where is she? Well, she, she didn't want it to come today because she's the COO of the Fajas. Uh -huh. So she's basically running from store to store. Oh, okay. And she couldn't come today. I just want to say that. Let her know that one day we want to meet her. Okay. Because we hear all about it. I love Fajas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it's funny because she's the introvert and I'm the extroverted. So well, I like to be out there. Someone asked about her because okay. we hear so much about it. And I'm sure she's an amazing woman. You guys are doing amazing. And behind a, a, someone like you, Mutt, does she, we, we, want, we have questions for her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Especially about the fans, right? Yeah. Okay. Questions. Shannon. What are the benefits of like, having a company that has like a high retention rate and more I think uh, the, first, the first one should be your assistant. So I have a full-time assistant, 10 hours a day, six days a week. That's the first time. Uh, because it's important that you guys, that you focus on your money-making activities. 
and then he's gonna focus on everything that is not make money making activities. And then from there you have to do like a 360 plan. 360 plan with your mission statement, with your core values, how to hire people. But I would say in business overall, uh, focus on one thing on operations, one thing on marketing, sales, finance, and operations. And people. That's what I would do. Uh -huh. Y es algo que, que te lo aplaudo. Y otra cosa que te quería preguntar, ¿cómo aprendiste tú todo esto? Uh, nomás en este año, ayer estaba hablando con Tony, estábamos en el subway y estábamos haciendo la matemática cuánto invertimos. Nomás en este año llevamos 300, 300 mil dólares invertidos. Nomás este año en self-development. Uh -huh. Pero tengo diferentes mentores, Brandon Dawson, Grant Cardone, uh, Richard Martinez, Albert Preciado, Ryan Pineda. I mean, the list goes on and on. Sí. How do you apply it, though? How do you apply it? Having a good team. You start off with this. This sounds very simple, but this is the most important thing. Like for me, after coming from the three, uh, 10X 360, Nestor attended to that one as well. After coming back, being in the room with billionaires, millionaires, people that have 4,500 employees. 5,000 employees, they have airplanes, then you come in with a different mindset. And I implemented just this right here in my business 10X. So I went from one million to like eight, eight million dollars. Yeah. Ooh, more questions, any questions? One right here, go ahead bro. So my question is like, how did you grow, or what was like the key to grow your YouTube video, video or channel from zero to 50,000 uh, followers or subscribers? To 57,000, we, started posting on a daily basis. So Tony is posting daily, and I have a separate marketing team. And I think they edit the videos in Colombia, India, and then they send it back. Then we review, we post them. But it's all about the short term, to the mid term, to the long term. And that's how people can be more engaging. And then when you see a video that is going viral, then you want to post more of those videos and start replicating the videos that go viral and co controversial. But yeah, I have everything on the million dollar blueprint. So if you guys want to scan, I'm going to give you a gift. Millions of dollars invested on self-improvement. I'm going to give it out for free. Thank you. Right, so my challenge to you is to change your life and your people's life, your family, what matters the most. That's the most important thing. Be grateful. We do it and for them. We do it for them. Whatever it is. I'm gonna give you the million dollar blueprint. This is gonna have the book, the ebook, and the workbook. Okay, cool. Oh. Scan that, guys. Scan that real quick. Uh, hold off on the music. We're gonna see if you got something to say real quick. So, you guys get value? Yes. Yeah. All right, everybody got a scan? We'll wait for anybody. You guys got it? Follow him at Jonathan Rodriguez, CEO. And thank you, Chris, for having yeah, brother, me. Brother, appreciate you coming, man. Love it, love it. I met everybody who networked with guys. You guys need to network.